Hi everyone, I'm bringing you an updated Season 27 leveling guide. Nothing has really changed, so let's keep it as short as possible. Let's go. Create or rebirth your character. Complete the challenge rift. Open the challenge rift cache. Level your artisans. Take the follower weapon, buy blue items from the vendors. Equip a pet to pick up gold for you. Craft a level 70 two-handed axe and try to hit life per hit plus a crowd control effect and then roll it to reduce level requirement secondary at the Mystic. It goes up to minus 30 level reduction, but don't waste too much gold on this. Rather try it on another weapon if you can't get it in a few tries. Demon Hunters, make a level 1 Witch Doctor and craft a bow on the Witch Doctor so it can't roll discipline. Gamble these items. Get the Kanai's Cube on hard difficulty. Necromancers can do it on Master or Torment 1. Craft a rare level 70 weapon for your class and upgrade it in the cube. Cube the item that you got. Now choose the leveling strategy. Number 1. Nephilim Rifts. This is by far the worst, so only do this if you have really a lot of time and nothing else you want to do. Number 2. Massacre Bonuses. Especially for solo players, this is usually the best option. The best zones are Temple of the Firstborn and Halls of Agony level 3. Number 3. Halls of Agony Blades. This is a softcore only strategy. Go there on Torment 6 and kill monsters with the Cleavers. This is especially good for parties that don't have a strong carry. And number 4, Cursed Chest. This is especially good in parties that have strong carries, such as Necromancers with Cause Explosion. Some additional tips. Always check the vendors in town for upgrades after a run. Always craft a good weapon appropriate for a level at the Blacksmith. Always choose a difficulty where you can easily defeat enemies without struggle, so they can keep your Massacre Chains going and don't die. Don't waste too much time deciding on which items to wear. Just choose it based on the green arrows, if an item is better or not. Try to get a ruby and put it in your helm. Even better if you can get the Dorex crown. Finally, use all the materials available to you to speed up the leveling process. You're gonna make it back easily at level 70. And that's it for this leveling guide. Let me know what you think about this new format. If you want to read up on anything, I have the written guide in the description and also a cheat sheet with all the basics explained in a few words. Hope you liked it and good luck in season 27. See you guys next time.